due to some technical difficulties with our microphone, we are having to voice over this video. This video is of a flame resistant blanket that we purchased from Harbor Freight as well as some metal conduit that we purchased from Lowe's. We also have four 90 degree elbows, a bag of wire ties, a tape measure, a marking device, and a screwdriver. Dad is currently showing you the four foot by six foot flame retardant blanket. And these are the 10 foot metal conduits that we purchased from Lowe's. And those are the 90 degree angles, the wire ties, as I mentioned. And you're gonna need a tape measure, a marking device, and a screwdriver. So the first thing we did was we marked the conduit at six foot, leaving us with four foot. So right now, I am setting up the grinder to cut the two pieces of conduit. As you're about to see, the reason that we're making this curtain is for this reason right here. To contain the sparks from grinding and the flash from welding. Now that we have the pieces cut, the next step is to put the 90 degree angles on the end of each long piece. After tightening the screw up, the next step is to insert a short piece and then the following step is to repeat that step taking a long piece and a short piece and putting them together with a 90 degree elbow. After completing that, you want to lay it on the floor so that way your rectangle is completely flat.
once you have all four corners tight, the next step is to lay your flame resistant blanket on the floor, positioning it in the middle of your frame. And now, for the final step of the process, get your wire ties, put two wire ties on each corner, and one wire tie on every eye between the corners. Try to keep your wire ties as even as possible to center the fiberglass flame resistant blanket in the middle of your rectangle frame. And with the magic of cameras, here is the finished product. The wire ties have been pulled even on all sides and it is ready to use. Sorry for having to do the voiceover, I hope you enjoyed the video.